What's up guys, it's Hudson here from Hudson Tech bringing you guys a brand new video and something kind of interesting and weird, a little bit uh, different than normal, but it is a tech based video uh, which we haven't had on the channel in a little while and uh, I thought you guys might be interested, uh, to those of you who actually uh, build computers or have wanted to, uh, something that you might uh, learn from this uh, specific video. However, this uh, system for the most part is out of date as of <laughs> currently because um, just how you know the the technology is constantly improving and and things are um, are just overlapping each other rapidly so anyways let's get into uh, the problem that I'm having and it's not really a problem that affects the computer uh, whatsoever it's just an, an aesthetic thing uh, there's actually two problems and I wanted to see if any of you guys uh, possibly knew a fix or workaround for this uh, this issue. So, anyways, I want to show you guys kind of what I'm talking about, and you probably already notice. Uh, I mean, it's quite an eyesore. This SLI bridge right here, uh, it just does not fit in at all uh, to this build. And I think it looks pretty industrial. This build, uh, it looks really clean and nice, and I'm really happy with it. Um, it's just that this thing just sticks out. And so I thought I had a solution. I went to Nvidia's website and I went ahead and ordered a triple SLI bridge and a single SLI bridge to see which one uh, worked better because this, the triple one you don't need three cards uh, it just gives you that extra spacing so I'll show you what that looks like on the back um, so you don't even need to fill the middle slot um, or the bottom slot even which would look really awkward but it gives you that extra space in case your cards were spaced out and I thought they were I didn't even do any research I just got them um, which was really stupid because neither of these work with this motherboard. It's an X79 Sabertooth uh, from Asus and because of the spacing it allows for neither of these uh, bridges to work. So I'll show you what that mean, what that looks like. So you can see that the, the, the default one that came with my motherboard fits fine but when you take up uh, this one you, you put it right there and it's plugging into right underneath which most motherboards would that would work for especially like a um, a Z97 or Z98 I believe um, I'm sorry if I butchered that I'm pretty sure that's where it's at right now or yeah Z, yeah I'm pretty sure that's where it is anyways you guys totally understand what I'm talking about most motherboards have the, that normal spacing and so that's what these are for uh, but when you get into the enthusiast platform I guess that changes completely and I didn't know if they had um, SLI bridges that worked for. Obviously the one that came with it was going to work because this is the only configuration that an SLI um, will work in this motherboard. You can't put one in the bottom 16x slot because it's not SLI compatible. So you got this weird spacing in between that you could fit like a quadro or you know some single uh, slot card but these are dual slot cards and they don't really allow for that to work properly. So and then again you got this one which has the same spacing as as this guy, it's just extended, uh, so you can sort of see what that looks like. Um, so it's just got an extra one added on, and then also another layer, you know, to support that triple SLI. Um, and so it's it's the same issue. It doesn't work at all. You end up with the graphics card being down here and one up here. Uh, so you've got like two and a half slots, um, which is really awkward and doesn't look good. So 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 we've got these two things here that don't even fit right and it's just kind of frustrating and I was like okay well that sucks so I gotta get rid of these eventually because they don't do anything for me but another thing is these are 780 Ti's if you're unfamiliar with the build and um, they're awesome they're absolutely awesome however they don't make them anymore because they've been replaced um, by the 980 then the 980 Ti and so they stopped making everything and anything along with 780 Ti's. The bottom one was a second hand one I had to get off eBay because they, you couldn't literally find any 780 Ti's anywhere. Uh, luckily I got one by a um, a reliable person who had just used it for benchmarking for a couple weeks and then you know put it in a box. So I got a really good um, you know deal with that. However you can't find um, back plates for them either so I've got a back plate on the top one and not on the bottom one and uh, if you were to find one they're like a couple hundred dollars which is ridiculous because I literally got that one for twenty five dollars um, and there's no way I would ever spend a couple hundred dollars on a back plate which does nothing um, basically except you know a little bit of heat spreading and some um, you know possibly uh, some structure to it I mean it's not like these graphics cards are gonna sag this one's almost sitting on the, the hard drive cage so anyways those are just some first world issues that I ran into and I thought maybe you guys would be interested in seeing these kind of little uh, problems 
Um, and so if you guys had any fixes, then also that would be cool to know. And then we could kind of go through the process together and I could update you guys on what's happening. Also, some of you guys ask a lot, you know, what does the build currently look like, Hudson? Um, how do you keep it? Um, and it, it's really clean. Um, I'm really happy with it. I've got dust filters everywhere. There's one on the top, one on the back and one um, over in the side and then a built-in one uh, that's on the bottom so there's you know there's virtually no dust in here and I do have to you know use some spray air every once in a while especially for this video because I wanted to look as clean as possible uh, but you know it's doing a great job um, and uh, I've had no problems whatsoever with it um, other than I did run RAID 0 with these two SSDs and I ran into problems with that but that was my own fault uh, since then I have uh, disbanded the whole RAID thing and just um, decided to run them separately so anyways that's that's the current uh, state of the build if you guys were curious thank you so much for watching and supporting me um, I'm gonna have some more videos out soon uh, I got a really cool computer build or computer video coming out soon that's not so much desktop which you guys probably know if you follow me on Twitter link in the description if you do not thank you guys so much for watching I will talk to you uh, in the next video thumbs up if you did enjoy content like this I'll be sure to be doing some more soon probably some more cinematic stuff as well but this is more of it like an update vlog and kind of like the state of the uh, Hudson PC so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one peace